Now, we begin. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dirty Mobs, and today I wanted to bring you a video that's a little bit different. I wanted to talk through uh, my thought process on how I evaluate a game to get my runes and items. So I get asked about my runes and my items a lot. How do I decide? When do I go collect or conquer? How do I decide when do I go Trinity Force, Black Cleaver, Death Sands, right? And the, there are a lot of variables. So to, the best way I can convey how I go about it is to give you my thought process. Because it, it's not, I don't think it's what you'd typically expect. Um, this is a thought process I've derived probably from my old Heroes of New Earth experiences, more Dota-esque, where you had more variety on your items. And... Just having eight years of MOBA experience, I've kind of developed this uh, this platform for thinking. So let's get look started. Uh, so we're gonna look at the map. All right. So the first thing that I do when I'm trying to decide uh, my runes or items is I look at the top lane first. Okay. So top lane is the number one priority, right? First priority is top lane. Um. So basically, if I have to have a certain item or a certain rune to keep myself in the lane, keep myself healthy, to go even in the lane or win the lane, uh, then I'll go that. Some examples might be, I occasionally will go grass into something like Gangplank. Um, I'll typically go Black Cleaver into Tanks. Um, Fiora is one where I typically will go Trinity Force most of the time, just because I really like the item in the 1v1, right? And Fiora is a champion where the 1v1 priority takes uh, precedence because it's typically going to be us split pushing versus each other. Uh, so the first priority is going to be top lane. Now, this doesn't happen. I typically don't build specifically to the 1v1 that often. This is probably the most rare occasion because most of my builds and items and how I put the lane, I can get out of a lane pretty easily. I can outplay people. Uh, I understand my win condition. And it's just not typically the carry. Uh, it's not how you're going to carry the game, right? Ultimately, I'm trying to figure out how do I win the game, not win the lane. So I'm going to look to this first, but typically this isn't a big deal. Now, next thing, the second priority is going to be top lane and jungle. Okay, so this is more 1v2 priority. Okay. Now this, when I'm on my main account, when I'm playing versus people at my skill level, this is typically what I build for. Um, I'm typically building for the 1v2. It's just because um, it's just the best way to get leads on allowing. You, you really push to your advantage once you get level 6. And you try to get them to, to two-man you because that forces them to collapse on you. They typically won't run away. If they're in a 1v2 situation, they think they can just rush you down. And that's how you get the jungler and top laner to commit, right? The problem with Alawi is if people aren't committing, then you're probably not going to get kills. They're just going to run away. And it's really annoying. It's really frustrating. So the key to Alawi is figuring out how do you get people to commit to you? Um, to, to go with what their gut says, which is, oh, just rush her down real quick. We'll kill her. Typically, that's not the case and you're you're not playing to that you're playing to you know winning so this is typically what i build when i'm in an mmr that's equal to my skill level so for me it's challenger if you're a diamond player it might be diamond your gold it might be gold right and this is the most likely one now the third priority after if i decide okay i don't need to build for the 1v1 i also am okay in the 1v2 this is fine i can handle all of this Okay, well now it's, how do I handle this side of the map, right? The mid laner and the ADC. How do I handle them? I've got this top side covered. In the game, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna out carry these because I can't rely on my team to shut them down, right? My mid laner, my ADC, my support, they might get beat. And I have to figure out how I'm gonna take my lead from top lane and move it into the rest of the game to get the carry. So this is the third priority, right? How do I kill carries? Um, this is where if they have, if they have, uh, four melee, right? Melee support, melee mid, melee jungle, melee top. I'm probably going to build black cleaver. Now, if they have, um, 
maybe they have like Aurelia top, Lisa and Jungle, and their mid lane and bot laner are Syndra and Sivir. Well, I can probably handle Aurelia and Lisa pretty easily. I can pretty much build anything into those two and probably win. So how do I kill Syndra and Sivir? Well, I'm probably going to want Trinity Force. Because it gives me move speed, it gives me secure damage on my Ws. Uh, it's a way for me to target my damage into those carries and focus them. So that's the third. After I decide I don't need to build anything for the 1v2, I can move it into the, the rest of the game. So, a little recap. Um, yeah, first priority, that top lane, 1v1. Do I have to have something to win? Typically, it's a no. Sometimes it's a yes. Um, this is where you, you kind of have to think, you know, you can use my, my matchup guide, but try to like, try to like use, you know, use your brain and figure it out. Um, second priority is I'll move on to the top laner and the jungler in the 1v2. This is most likely if I'm in my own elo. Third priority is how do I handle the main carries and threats? So this happens a lot when I'm smurfing. You'll see me, if you notice in my playthroughs, those games are in D2, D1, uh, or Masters. It's in that elo. Uh, and you just see me really building Trinity Force a lot because that's how I'm going to deal with their mid lane mage or their ADC marksman. That's the best way to do it. Uh, Black Cleaver just doesn't really cut it. And if I can just outplay the top and jungle, then yeah, I'm going to just outplay them and build to killing their carries. Why not? Um, so hopefully that helps out a little bit. Uh, look into how my brain works and how I approach the game. And I'll see y'all next time.